Have you ever been in a South African township? Then let me describe one for you. You'd enter off a highway and immediately you'd notice a major difference from the area you've left behind. The streets are poorly maintained. There's garbage lying around, not much in the way of trees or grass. As you go in further, tin shacks appear, patched together with bits of wood and corrugated iron. Children, young people and old people are out in the streets. Many have nowhere to go. Others are struggling to get to where they need to. It was the realities of township life. Extreme poverty, hunger, squalor, sickness, and fear from a harsh regime that led a young Helen Lieberman in 1963 to start helping people as much as she could from out of the trunk of her car. But it was the people she found in the townships, their warmth, their wisdom, their determination to do better, and their willingness to share what little they had that sowed the seed of what later became Ikam Valabantu. Our programs help often and vulnerable children by supporting and educating their parents, foster parents, and preschool teachers, providing life skills and after-school learning for youth at risk, and training and supporting senior citizens to take care of themselves in our senior centers. Ooh, Ikam Valabantu means a lot to these people because it supports them in all aspects. If the grain is being abused, we want them to know about their rights and about their responsibilities. Coming here to them, it makes their day to come and socialize, to come and have at least two meals a day. It can be a I think it, it makes things very easy for us. You know, we're not doing something, you need somebody to say it, you are doing well. This ethos of helping people to help themselves is at the heart of Ikam Valabantu. And it began with Helen back in 1963. We started Ikam Balabantu with Helen. That time we didn't have subsidies or anything. We never had anything. I took them from, from the streets because they were not having, you know, somebody to look after them and the children were being abused. I have at least 90 children. The biggest achievement of my life is that I'm proud that I took children off the streets. I've got children, they are now in universities. Some are now book writers. They have explored. The women who began Ikam Valabantu with Helen are the mamas, a term of utmost respect in African culture. And they still form the core of the organization through our community forums. Because to make sure we're supporting a community adequately, we must first understand its needs. We are all With their own leadership, they share problems, insights and solutions, and bring specific needs to our attention. These forums help to shape all our programs. In turn, we provide governance and leadership training. I'm Tobeka Mapapu. I'm staying in Kukuletu. I'm the foster mother. I do have uh, 12 children, but I also have emergency children. Mm. The children are dying out there. There's some people are killing the children. The people are raping the children outside there. They kill the children after that. Those children are in need to be taken by the mothers like me. The person who's next to me is Koliswa. She was also a foster child of mine. I just want to say thank you, Tobeka, for raising me. God can be with you all the time. I'm so grateful. Thanks so much. We have a saying in Africa, every child is our child. It always amazes me that Ubuntu, that spirit of compassion of the mamas and tatas in the townships who share what little they have, is practiced by some of the poorest people on earth. If only the whole world behaved that way. I'd like to see it happen. <laughs>